Hi guys, my name is Sandra. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is ideas for my new bullet journal setup. So I kind of wanted to have a spread to kind of go over all of the things I want to add in my new bullet journal and also delete and change, mostly change to be quite honest. We're going to get out a trusty mild liner. This will be the new one I'm using. I love the color. I wanted to use a Dingbats for my next journal. So I get to see how they perform. And in the meantime, let's get into the ideas behind the new bullet journal setup. So we're done writing this out. I'm not going to really talk about the keeping and the deleting because it's pretty straightforward. The deleting, I'm getting rid of my large monthly calendar, which has been like my mainstay my entire bullet journaling career. So I'll talk about the things I'm adding and the things I'm changing, but you won't actually get the full gist of it until you see the video. I'm planning on drawing out the spreads soon and the video will be posted by the middle of the month of June. So keep tuned for that. So adding a key, I've never really used a key, but I like the idea and I like having it in there just so it looks a little bit more professional. Quarterly goals, this is taken from Helen Colebrook. I will link her either at the end of this video or during the middle, we'll see. Quarterly goals is just because it makes sense for me because I only have three months in my bullet journal. So I'm not gonna have yearly goals, which I always keep track of in my power sheets anyway. So uh, makes a little bit of sense. And then it's also a little bit more doable if that makes sense and then quarterly goals get broken down into daily tasks which again I already have in my power sheets so summer bucket list because there are things I want to do within the confines and limits of the pandemic right now so we'll see how that goes summer projects so that includes like cleaning out the garage just anything that I would want to get done in summer July important dates. This kind of ties in with the large monthly calendar. So again, stay tuned for the video. Mom life. I got this from Claudia Joseph. Again, I'll link her account. And it's going to be a double page spread with the goals tasks. I just have to do a little bit more brainstorming and figure out how I want that to look. YouTube calendar and YouTube schedule. So that along with the bill calendar and bill checklist kind of are being brought over from my Happy Planner and also from my Erin Condren. So not so much my Erin Condren, I guess, but my Happy Planner. I do both of these things in there and I want to kind of use July as a test month and this will be my test bullet journal to see how these things can be incorporated into my bullet journal and see if I want them to be a part of my bullet journal or if I'd prefer to keep my happy planner. So kind of a test run right now. If I like it, I'm going to keep it. And if I hate it, or if it's just not working for me, I won't include it in my next bullet journal. A gratitude log. Of course, I've had one of these before, but I'm adding it this month for July. 
and a weekly YouTube dashboard. So again, this is brought over from my Happy Planner. Um, kind of the idea that I want to get rid of my Happy Planner and not have so many planners and also kind of the idea to do everything in my bullet journal because, you know, right now I've got my Cultivate What Matters Goal Planner, I've got my Happy Planner, I've got my Erin Condren uh, Life Planner, and then I've got my bullet journal. So why do I have four different things? I don't want to have a bullet journal where literally I take one or two months because it kind of seems like a waste, but at the same time it's a lot less to keep track of because I've got one notebook instead of four. So we're going to see how this goes. As for what I'm changing, my YouTube tracker at the beginning of my bullet journal, I'm changing to milestones. Again, it's an idea I got from Claudia. Polaroids will be summer memories and I will actually, I'm not really sure if I'll make specific spaces like for specific months in my bullet journal but I definitely want to have more um like picturesque spreads in my journal so whether I go camping or on a trip to Red Deer or whatever the case is I want to have more of a scrapbook feel to my bullet journal so I'm excited to create spreads like that my bullet journal themes um at the beginning of this journal I cut it down to literally half of one page and I want to have a double page spread, so I changed it to two. To check it out, I had music, TV, movies, and books, and I'm getting rid of the music because I honestly, actually what I do, because I do have Apple Music, instead of writing anything down, I just honestly take my phone and I use Shazam to figure out what song it is, and then I add it directly to my Apple playlist from there, so I don't really need to write it down on my bullet journal. But books are important for me because I don't have that ability or feature on my phone. And the same with movies and TV. I like to have it written down. Monthly events. So I do right now have my days of the week in the middle of the page. So I've got the left hand side and the right hand side of the page to write down different things. So I'm changing it so I've got the numbers and the days of the week on the left hand side so the whole page is open. I know I said I wasn't going to do this but I just want to try it out and see if I like it and if I do I'll continue going forward. July reading and watch list. So this is stuff that I've watched and stuff that I've read and I had such a tiny little spread at the beginning of this current journal that I need to make it bigger. And my makeup and stationery list of like products that I want to buy or ideas of things I want to buy. I had it at the beginning of my journal in the initial setup and I'm changing it to monthly because this list changes all the time and I want to change it more frequently than every three months. And last but not least, because this journal, the new one I'll be using, only has, let's see how many pages. It only has 184 pages and because I'm adding all of these new things into my bullet journal, I'm going to have to do rolling dailies because I'm not going to have room. I don't really love the idea because I really want to incorporate the pensive bullet, which was the, let me see if I can find it here. I'll give you a sneak peek of my, I'll cover this page up. I have a couple of ideas here. So this is going to be my specific key. I'm keeping it pretty simple actually. But the note bullet, which in Roger Carroll's book, it is kind of like a journaling bullet. So you make notes throughout the day in your bullet journal. You treat it like a journal, but I'm not going to go crazy because I already have a journal for all my thoughts and feelings. This will just be for like maybe thoughts or just notes about my tasks that I have to get done. Rachel Stevens calls it the pensive bullet, which I really like that term. And it's just like your thoughts about stuff through happening throughout your day. So I want to incorporate that more, but I'm also afraid it's going to take up more room in my bullet journal. So I'm going to see how it goes. I mean, in the end, if it only works out being a two month journal, well, it is what it is. I've got lots of bullet journals. You guys have seen my collection. Speaking of, I'll link that video for you as well. That is it for this video. I hope you guys have some inspiration. And again, please stay tuned to watch my new bullet journal setup. It's going to be a good one. So I hope you guys stay tuned. If you like this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. Please ring the little bell the notification button so you'll be notified every time I post a new video. And also, if you're new here, I'd love if you subscribed. Thank you so much for watching. We'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.